Hi everyone, it's Anne Marie. Hey, I wanted to share with you a birthday card that I made for my friend. Can't wait to give it to her today. Um, I discovered this type of card on May May Made It's YouTube channel. Um, she does all kind of fantastic crafts. She does card making and stamping and scrapbooking and treat boxes and wreaths and if you could dream it up, she can do it. Um, and I know that her card was inspired by another crafter. I want to say her name was Nyoka, um, but I will leave the link to her video down below. So I used a paper collection from Echo Park that I don't believe is available anymore, but it's called Party Time, and it's all uh, birthday themed. So you could use any theme. Like I've made one of these before, and I used... Um, Oh, I used an authentic paper. I think it was called Dame. Um, so it doesn't matter what the occasion. It just turns out beautifully. So here's the card. It is what I'm learning is an A2 size card, which means it's four and a quarter by five and a half, I believe. Um, so I just took one of the three by four cut aparts. I mean, how much more clear can you be? <laughs> um, and I added some pink because... Um, my friend Debbie and I, we both are crazy about pink. So what you do is you take the card and you pop it open. Look at that! How cute is that? So inside, I'll give you a view from the inside, from the top. So you see there's these little riser things here that um, I just use these little pop-ups. Like this is a little cup. Oh, you can't see from that angle. This is a little cupcake um, with a candle in it. And this is just so appropriate for this car because Debbie's daughter, I call her Cupcake. <laughs> um, and then here's a little birthday gift. Here's some candles and a little party hat. So um, I actually use, with the exception of these two cut-aparts here, I used just the stickers from the paper collection. So it makes everything on the sticker sheet, everything in the collection, all coordinates. So it makes it really difficult to make a mistake. Uh, but somehow I still managed to do that. <laughs> um, but anyway, so over here I just cut down one of the cut aparts. It says close your eyes and make a wish. Again, with a cute little cupcake. And then over here, it's another one that says it's your day. Another cut apart, sorry, says it's your day. Um, I just took some of the stickers. And um, what I do is for this part that overhangs, I don't know if you can see, but if you look from the top, well, it's kind of hard to see because it's white, but right here, it overhangs. I just put some baby powder on the back um, as I did with these four um, stickers that are here that are popped up. Um, I put some baby powder on the back to get rid of the sticky part uh, so nothing gets all jumbled together. Um, but then you can also see on the back inside there it says another year more awesome. And then on the inside, on the other side, whoop, there it is, it says make a wish. Again these are all stickers. And then on the front, it just says happy birthday. So, um, yeah, and that's so awesome. It's hard to tell from, from this angle, but you could sit, she can set it like that on her desk. I know that she works from home and, um, yeah. So I just think this is just so perfect. It, it couldn't have been a better, a better card for Debbie. Um, and then on the back, oops, I'll just cover that up. And then I, I used another one of the balloons. I wanted to use this balloon in the worst way. It was just a little bit too tall for inside the card. And then hooray. Um, very, very cute. And you put your sentiment here. Or you can write your sentiment on the entire back. You can cover the back with paper if you want. Um, so, yeah. So, that's my card. I just think she's going to love this. I love it. Um, I would love to receive this. And then I think what I'm going to do is put like a a couple of, what are those things called? Photo corners over here to put a gift card in. Um, and I also, because I was feeling so inspired, I also used my envelope punch board, which I think I've had for th two, three years and I've never used it. I actually made the envelope too, out of pink paper, of course. Um, put her name on it with a little sticker. And then I was shocked by how easy this was to do. I, and like I said, I've never done it. I've had it forever. Um, then I just took one of the little stickers. It says, It's Your Day. And then the card beautifully fits 
right inside. I know um, card makers are probably all giggling because they think I want a dummy, but um, I've never done it. So, and then how cute is that? And it's the perfect, I just followed the settings on the punch board for the A2 size card. Follow the directions, imagine that, and it worked beautifully. So, again, I'm just so proud of it. I just think it's adorable. Um, so again, go check out May May's channel. I think you're going to absolutely love um, the few cards that she made uh, with the different paper collections and different occasions. So, um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a a comment and I will get back to you. Thanks everybody. Have a good day.